Hi, welcome back to the studio. If you're new here, my name is Lee Angold. I'm a botanical and natural science illustrator based in Kitchener, Waterloo, Canada. On this channel, I share some techniques and tips for watercolor and other illustration techniques, as well as some insight into my daily life as an illustrator. So today, we're going to talk about this. This is my everyday carry bag, as well as my sketch kit. It's got everything that I need to be a regular human. So I've got my keys, my wallet, my phone, and also a huge amount of sketch gear so that I can sketch wherever I go. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below. Alright, so now we're looking at my shoulder bag. You can see this is the strap that would usually go over my shoulder. But the cool thing is, I've got a whole different way that I use it since I'm a cyclist. So I can actually, if I'm going to be biking, I can use this on my bike. I'll show you how. So first I flip in my keys. And then I start folding in the straps. And so you'll see I'm sort of clumsily folding these in here. And then the flap gets pu pulled back over. And now look, on the sides there's these rings, and I can put a carabiner clip on each of those rings and attach it to the, my bike rack at the back of my bike. And so that just hangs on there on the back of my bike and I can take this off wherever I go. Now let's open this back up again. So here first are my house keys, my studio keys. And then I fiddle with this little round thing. What's that? This is kind of magic. So here we go and that opens up. So that's a collapsible steel water cup, which I can use for my watercolors. So then I pull out a napkin, which I also use for my watercolors, but it keeps it quiet. You can see inside that's just a cup. And that attaches to the side of the bag and I put it aside along with a little napkin. Next. Fiddling around. Okay, let's take a look inside. So you can see that there's some extra space in there. Um, when I'm not, when I don't have my straps folded in there, I can use that space for a number of different things. So when I go grocery shopping, sometimes I take some little produce bags or something that I toss in there. Um, I can put some extra supplies. This bag is like a bag of holding. It can hold so much, but the most common thing is here, a phone charger. Next, let's start pulling stuff out of this bag. Oh, reaching around. And here we go, my watercolor set. So this is actually my studio set. This is the Schmincke Special Edition kit. Uh, I got it through wet paint, but I filled it with all sorts of different paints. So that's not just Schmincke paints. This is all the paints that I regularly use in the studio. Again, even though this is a studio palette, it's got way more paint than I really need on the go. It fits really nicely in this bag, so I often carry it around. Nice cover, and off to the side. Sometimes I switch it up though. Sometimes I'll put some different supplies in. So this is a tiny little set I made. I'm gonna try to open it here, but it doesn't want to open. Here's an Altoids tin that I filled with some water-soluble carbon that I often use for sketching. So sometimes when I want something a little different, I'll pack these guys in. You'll see this leaves even more space inside this bag. Um, so there's room for quite a bit in here. Putting those aside.
Right, just take a look around and there's my phone. So we'll open this up. That's my phone. It's also my wallet. Sorry for the cars racing by. So next we're pulling out my sketchbook. This is a Stillman and Byrne A5 Zeta sketchbook. I love this thing. I love the feel of the paper. It's got a sticker by Iraville on the front of it. Um, I supported her, her book, so I got this sticker. I never know what to do with stickers, so they go on the front of my sketchbooks. And I love the Stillman and Burn paper. I love how it fits perfectly in this bag. I'll just keep buying these over and over again. This is my third one. So now, this little zippered pouch holds all of my pens and pencils and brushes and things. So let's take a look at what's inside. So first, oh, almost, there we go. These are some white drawing and painting tools. So I use these to add details on my sketches. So there's a white gel pen, a white charcoal pencil, and another white ink pen. These are water brushes. So I prefer to use real brushes, but sometimes when I'm at a museum or something, I can't really get out the full water cup and deal. So I can always use my watercolors with these water brushes. They're also great if I ever want to paint outside, which I don't do very often, but if it's really cold outside, I can fill them with vodka and paint in any weather. Then these are my pencil, my favorite pencil and eraser. So this is a Graph Gear 0.3 pencil and a Tombow Mono Zero eraser. Um, so when I do want to use graphite, this is, these are my tools. I'll leave all, links for everything down below. What's next? Here we go. So these are pens. So honestly, more frequently I use pen than pencil for sketching. These are just Uniball Onyx pens. They're cheap. They came in a pack of 12, but they're completely waterproof and very black. I love them. So next I'm going to pull out a water brush. This is an Escoda Reserva size four. Here it is. It's nice and pointy. I love painting with this much more than with the water brushes. So whenever I can, I use real tools. So here, I'll show you my travel brush up close. And it packs up nice and small. And here's the last thing in this zippered pocket. This is my favorite new toy. It's amazing. I love it. Look at those colors, first of all. And okay, so now when you open this and twist this back on, now you've got a full size glass nib dip pen. And I actually don't use this with ink. I use it with watercolor. So I can draw some really fine lines on the go pretty easily. So that's a new technique that I'm eager to sh discuss with you in a future video. So there we go. We'll just put that down just as is. And I think that's it for that zippered pouch. So I'll just bring that a little closer so you can see and zip that up. And now there's a little open pouch in front. I've got my passport in there, so I'm ready to travel at any time. Then there's another pouch in here. This one's empty. This is where I put extra documents that I get through the day, any kind of cards or anything. It's empty right now. That's it for the main bag, but I've also got an extra zippered pocket back here where I keep some extras. So first, I've got some cash because there's some cafes around here that only take cash. And I've also got there we go, this is where I keep my lead. It gets lost down at the bottom of that zippered pouch in front, 
So this is my 0.3 HB lead, which I use with the mechanical pencil that I used, showed you later. I'll sh give you links for everything. So that's it for this bag. That zips up. And now I'll show you how I pack this up again in reverse. <laughs> sketch kit, but I'm always changing it, so I've got a question for you. What are the sketch tools that you can't live without? Let's have a chat in the comments below. <laughs>